Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be talking about FSR4 and how things are becoming even more easy to be able to get FSR4 working with games. And today we're going to be concentrating on Monster Hunter Wilds yet again because it's one of the only games that really change and show that FSR4 is working. So, what happened? Well, a new version of, uh, whatchamacallit? Oh no, it's not in here. Why is it not in here? I've not restarted Steam is probably why. One second, let me exit this. A new version of Proton Kashi is being worked on. And I'm not going to link to it or anything. If you want to go find it, head into their Discord. Okay, I'm going to put this right here. Head into their Discord. Go into here. Click this button. Okay, click right here. And there you'll see it. You need a new version of Mesa. And you need this version here or uh, a newer version which was posted later on which is right here okay that should really help you get things going now what are the differences well this command will automatically download the DDL that you need right into wherever it needs to be so the system 32 folder um, in this location right here browse local files so if we go into Steam apps, you'll know the comp data. And I don't know what the Monster Hunter folder is. So we need to go to 2246340. Right here. Prefix U. It would go into Windows. It would automatically download it into here. Okay, see it's right there. Now that makes it really easy to run FSR4. Now, we go to properties. We go to compatibility, and if I switch to this build right here, we would be able to just start it up. It would automatically download the DDL, and FSR4 works. That's it. This is one of those games with, I believe, native Proton, uh, native FSR4, but if not, if a game does not support FSR natively, uh, this command will make it really easy to have it done and ready. Let's see. Are we going to need to compile? We're not. We're in luck. <clears throat> now, because I'm not like fully capturing the game, I'm going to go do that right now. It could end up being very leggy to you, and I don't want that. So I'm going to go to here, and I'm going to go to Windows. There we go. So now we will have no lag whatsoever. It's not actually lag, it's stutter, but you get the point. So if we go here, you notice FSR 4.0.0 right there. And that's how easy it is now to run FSR4. Pretty nifty, huh? And I don't know if you can remove the command afterwards. I wouldn't really bother, honestly. So on another game, uh, if we wanted to, we could uh, definitely make use of this, like Silent Hill 4. Uh, so if we click here, you notice how crisp everything is. Look, it's fixed. The grass is fixed. Huh? But yeah, there's a lot of details going on in the distance over here. There's a bit of lag going on at the moment. A uh, stutter, sorry. I usually don't sit on this screen for too long. But I'm glad that things are getting fixed in Mesa Git. It's nice to see. Doom, the New Ages, or the New Dark Ages, or whatever it's called, runs great on this version of Mesa. Uh, about 100 plus FPS. Uh, Ultra, by the way. So that's nice. Let me just do this real quick. Thank you. I don't know my way out of this particular area, but I think it's this way. Yeah, I don't know what that stutters from, but it's really annoying. And grass is working. Everything looks good. I think I'm going to stick with the other build. Because this one seems to be really... Stuttery. Yeah. Now, uh, reminder, I am recording. Not that that should do anything because I'm recording on the RTX 4070, but... Yeah, look at that. Hello. Uh, how do we get on this thing again? Oh, tab. Here we go. Come on, you. We're gonna go for a run. Now, the game looks great with FSR4, without a doubt. It's not blurry like it would be with FSR3.1. 
So I'm very happy with the developers for implementing this, making this super easy. Cache OS developers are honestly the best when they come together and they make something just work. Ooh, hello. Thank you. Ancient Wavering Coin. Nice. I like when shiny things occur. So we're going to head down here with the foliage. I don't see much glinting or any weirdness going on with the foliage. It seems to be very stable in motion, which is nice. All right. Now, um, let's try Doom the Dark Ages after I grab my login bonus. That was weird. And we're going to quit the game. Sure, I'll save and quit. Now, for Doom the Dark Ages, it is built into here. Okay? Uh, and this is what I have here. Proton FSR 4 upgrade equals 1 in all caps. I've got game performance on for the maximum ability of my CPU, even though currently we're on power save due to the fact that I have extreme heating issues currently going on in Halifax. Uh, it may not look like it on the bar, but if I actually go to my phone, uh, it, it, it's, it's, it's very warm. Yeah. So currently it feels like 31, but earlier it felt closer to 40. So yeah, I don't want that trouble. Now, I am going to need to do something real quick because there's a bug. A bug currently with Doom the Dark Ages on Linux that uh, causes me a problem. I'm going to just move that to trash. We're going to go to gaming and we're going to grab you. We're going to just paste that in there. And that should be it. That allows us to boot everything up, ready to go. And let's see how that works out. All right. So, settings. It's all right here. Everything's dynamic. Well, I don't know why dynamic scaling mode is on. Let's actually turn that off. And performance metrics, Ultra Nightmare. Upscaler, FSR4. We're going to leave it on balanced. Okay. I'm going to turn that off. Path tracing is off and everything else is set to ultra nightmare. Let's continue, shall we? I am going to move me. Not the game. Me. On the other side. Impact confirmed. The Slayer has been activated. Cool. As you can see, the game runs fine with ray tracing on. But we're here about FSR 4. Nice try.
So what about path tracing while we're here? How does that run? Well, I'm pretty sure you can probably guess already. So, uh... Let's do a comparison real quick in performance, as well as looking up at that building. And where is path tracing? There it is. Let's just do sun only, okay? Make it a little bit easier on ourselves. So that's with that on. As you can see, we lost most of our performance by doing that. That's path tracing for you. Let's do all lights. Now, this is still playable. Okay, we're like 29 FPS. This is console level uh, performance right here. Which is fine. We can't stay here. Uh. Wow. Confirmed. Weapon drop incoming. Weapon drop incoming. Take a look at that. Yep. PT is on. The fact that it runs this good on its own as well is kind of amazing, especially for AMD, especially for a 9070 XT, which is what we're using, right? Yeah. All right. So far, so good. Hi, dragon. Kidding. Look at that. We reached 70. <laughs> uh, I have hopes that maybe something in the near future is going to make that a lot more playable somehow, some way. Who knows? But there you go. Now you guys know what's coming for FSR 4 on Linux. Uh, you can test it out currently with Cache OS. As I said, you go to the Discord. You find that post on the Cache OS repository and you just follow the instructions and that's it. You should be good to go. Thank you guys for watching. Just wanted to make you this video to let you know all the cool stuff that's coming as always. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. By the way, no hacks necessary.